Technically, they're not putting in the foundation just yet. They're just doing some test runs. But for all practical purposes, the installation of the underground support columns has started. You won't come out to our site and hear the bang, bang, bang uh, that you get with driven piles. We are actually drilling an 18-inch diameter hole in the ground. Banks project executive John Dietrich says into that hole they'll pour concrete and reinforce it with steel bars. If the tests show everything is okay, they should have the site ready for above ground construction by January. Even though it is just a test, Councilman Jeff Birding is happy to see the activity. We're not talking about the demolition, we're not talking about digging out the remnants of Riverfront Stadium, we're talking about putting piles in the ground to start those garages that have always been the critical component of getting this development done. Once those tests are completed and assuming they hold up, it should take about three months to put down the foundation. After that, work will begin on the garages that make up the first phase of the banks. From downtown, Bill Reinhart, News Radio 700 WLW.